Yo. Continue. I only died because I got careless. Alright, so... There's a ladder here. Can I do something with this? Probably not in this section, but... Can I do something with this? Let's throw that over there. Let's... Wait. Time it better. That's pretty much all I have to do is time it better. Eh. Go ladder, go! It's shaking! Why is it shaking? Why? What the hell is this? Oh, I need my, uh, thing. There we go. Ladder. Ladder. Ladder? Batteries. What is that? Bug spray? What is that? Ah, fuel. Cool. Should be filled up now. Um, put it there, I guess. Interdarsting. Well, I have fuel. What's this ladder for? Can I do anything with this ladder? Should I take it with me? I'm gonna take it with me. Come on, my ladder friend! I shall call you Steve. And you shall be my friend and help me out of this terrible place. Don't do that again. Don't, don't fuck it up. I have no way of healing myself, so... There's the note we read. Alright. Where am I going here? Do I use the ladder to... I think Bob just died. Poor Bob. He had no chance, really. But that means that whatever was in there is now... I hope gone. Oh, Jesus. Was that the dog that killed him? Jesus Christ, man. It's not very nice. Um... Relation to spiders with whom I have shared my existence in the past eight months. So this is the guy that was just killed now. Uh, surgical tools. Glue-like substance forming on my tongue and was forced to accept. Oh no! That's gross! Last entry I attempted to return from whence I came. From originally fleeing seems a fate worse than the one I face. However, in the time since I arrived from the larger mine system, a cave in a cave in has occurred, blocking any further progress. I was forced to return and accept whatever end life has in store for me. Excuse me. I still near my aggressive little friend scratching on the door to my cell. Did, what did he do with his face then? Because he's talking about his tongue being infected. Oh. Well, I found it. It's Judas's tongue. Aha. Uh -huh. Spiders. Great. I really hate spiders. Wait a m what? What the hell grabbed him? I have no idea, because it sounded like a... Is there something in there? Can I go in there? Too, it's too small to me. I still hear them, like, scratching around. Alright then, I don't know what grabbed him. 
But it definitely wasn't a dog if it goes through a hole like that tiny in the wall. We still have our dog to deal with, though. So we need to find the explosives. This is one, like, pissed off dog for some reason. How the hell did it get down here? I think that's the biggest question. I don't see it. I hear it! It didn't come down this way with me. I don't see it though. Doki! Where are you? I don't know where I need to go. That's a workshop. Okay. He sounds close, but he's probably not. What does that say? Office? I need to go that way, then. <gasps> eh, go, go, go. Did we just make a loop? I think we did. Yeah, we did. The explosives are... Oh, fuck. They're on that other side there. So they were across from the workshop, which means if I go... this way, I should come across them, right? Oh, okay. I should be walking behind boxes, but I'm not. Where are you, dog? I don't know where the dog is. All I keep doing, hearing is him growl. But I don't actually see him. Okay. Um... down that way? He sounded like he was super close on that side. Although again, I don't see him. Uh... I'm going the right direction at least. Of course you jot it down a note right when like the worst possible time is to read the note. I found a locked door in the middle of the mine. Well, I have this. Can I bash it down? Can I seriously not do this? Alright. Well, I've alerted him to my presence. I don't have anything. I have an old key. Don't be stupid. Alright. To block the door? Can I block it in time?
Okay, I blocked it. I hope that's enough. Shit. Nope. That wasn't enough. Oh no! The dog's in here! Just stay hidden for a little bit here. He really didn't like me doing that. Shit. He broke it. Like a jerk. I don't want to grab that bottle. I didn't think that was going to block it that much. I literally don't know where he is. Explosives are that way, right? Aha! Doggy! There's nothing here. Dicks. I was hoping that that would actually do something. Like that would bring me somewhere. Shit. Hey, doggy. I could just kill it, right? Wasted those, unfortunately. But as long as it's dead and not in my. S not my problem anymore. Really don't care. Although I think there might be another one in here. Might have been the only one. Maybe. Okay, that requires a code, which we don't have, so we need to go to the explosive, actually. Well, good. At least the dog's dead. Happy about that. Took a little bit to kill it. Okay, that's that's where we need to put the explosive, right? Uh, let's see here. It is two. Great hunting ground. To... Let others gorge their faces. One cannot help but feel four. So two, two, one, four, eight. But it has to be backwards. So eight, four, one, two, maybe? Let's try that. That seems about right. Eight, four, one, two. 
Give me an eight. Give me a four. Give me a one. Give me a two. Eight, four, one, two. Boom, boom. At least I got rid of the dog. I don't think I got... Did I get it? Oh, okay. Saving point, yes please. The whispering is a little odd. It was different, but the same. That time, like, I had more control over. But what? I don't know. Aha. Eh. Something under there. Is that a pickaxe? Yes, it is. I guess we just needed the pickaxe and whatever else we got. Although there is this door here. There's gotta be something in here. Um. I hear spiders. Can I use that pickaxe? Come on, break. Thank you. There's a lot of spider webs here. A lot of everything here. Barrels. Hmm. Well, we made it all the way around. I guess that's something. Ha. I need... Uh, the barrels, maybe? Or the boxes might be better. Mo boxes might be easier just because they're easier to carry. There's one box. Time to stack some boxes. There's a flare under there. How do I get that? Can I get that? Yeah. Hopefully this works. And I can actually get back over the other side. Uh, no, it has to be taller. Alright, so can we put the... Will that work? If I so just... <laughs> Got it. Now it's not any worth anything. How am I gonna get this door open? Looks very weak. Uh, how about a pickaxe? Nope, that's not what I wanted. I want to move this then. Make it number four. Just, just bash the damn thing. Dude, he could probably bash this thing open with his hip. There we go. Not his hip, but like, you know, just running into it, he could probably get it. What is that? Pills? Can't pick that up. Ugh. Pills and explosives, huh? Stick a dynamite. This would be a better weapon. <laughs> Alright. I think... We should be good, yes. Theoretically. I still hear you crawling around in the walls. <laughs> Creeping me the fuck out, spiders. Let's hope another dog didn't spawn. I have to go... This? No, we came that way. Where is the explosive area? Uh, back here, I think, maybe? Yeah, it was over here. There it is. So, let's set up our dynamite here. Got that. No. Hmm, this? We have painkillers, which we don't even need. Is there something else I missed, maybe? 
I think so. Have we gone into the explosive area yet? Explosives. Did we go over here? We were over here. There was nothing here. Oh, I need this. That's that's why. See, doing this with a dog around? It's a fucking pain in the dick. I'm so glad I killed it. <laughs> I didn't do that in my last playthrough of this when I tried to do this a little bit. I never killed the dog. Because I was like... Too scared. Or whatever. Now I'm just gonna kill all the dogs because they're less of an issue. Okay, there we go. So then we need... That. Uh. Run. Did that do anything? That didn't do anything. Uh... What am I missing? No, that's not what I want. I want to, like, do that, maybe. There we go. Proper fuse. Need some gunpowder. Where's the gunpowder? Is this gunpowder? That's not gunpowder? Okay. I need to start thinking straight. Well, that's never one, you know, babe, one of my strong suits. Where would gunpowder be? Was there anything else in the workshop that I missed? Possibly. I feel like there might have been. Maybe some gunpowder in here or something? But it's a workshop, so that doesn't make any sense. But... You never know, I mean... There could have easily been something in here that I totally missed. Uh, what about this? Can I break it? Hope I don't need the dynamite, because I just got rid of it, and not on purpose. I was not planning on using the stick of dynamite there. I thought it was going to place it, instead it, it uh, didn't, so. Alright, so we got that. We have our fuse. We should be able to light this bad boy up. Proper fuse. That's not what I wanted. And we have the lighter on five. Get the fuck out of there. This will be a good place to take cover. I think the dog would have gotten alerted to that too as well, so... Yeah. When I look back, I can't think what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance uh, at still being alive, or something as ridiculous as facing adversity and coming out on top. Now I know I would have been better off starving or being mute, mauled to death, mule to death, than kick-starting the chain of events that led me to he end up here. Waiting to you, writing to you, I just hope once you understand my story, I will have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. I certainly didn't. I think there's more dogs. In this situation here. I think there's been a lot of dogs and... Uh, there's such things. So we got our axe. 
power room, huh? The lights down here are so alien compared to the sounds on Earth or whatever. Shouldn't be totally surprised about that, though. Just because, like, anytime you go underground somewhere, the sounds always sound very different. Just in general. Okay, jotted down a note. The main generator won't turn, won't run without the starter motor being powdered, powered, powered, powdered. Yes, makes sense. I hope there's a reason to go down here. And hopefully nothing kills me down here. That's weird ass whispering. Down here? Like really? What the fuck is down here? Nothing. Alright. Sure. So what's the point of being down here then? Okay, so this, this thing is not going to be working correctly. Oh, this turning. This turning mechanic. So we don't know anything about this yet. But now we do. Let's see. Avoid personal wear and tear. Wind up starter motor has been replaced with a battery. Driven unit. Grease the individual work piece of place. Uh... Let's see electrical insulation. First, ensure the area surrounding the 7G is c cleared of equipment. It's pretty much clear over there, I'm pretty sure. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Release excess steam until pressure within the safe within safe limits. Begin grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Turn main valve and confirm primary flow. Pull main operation lever. Check energy output. Your input or your unit should be now fully functional. Okay, so this needs to close back up. Because it's supposed to open the secondary, which is this. So secondary is open. And then water. Which one's water? This would be water, maybe? Because going up, it's steam. So that, that, uh, note. Um, turn on cooling system. Begin. So then release the steam, then grease flow. Okay, so then steam, which is this. This would be grease, maybe? I could have these backwards, and that could be water, and that could be grease, but... And then turn this on. And then shut the thing on. Pulls a lever. No? I think I had a problem with this puzzle last time. Let's reset it, maybe. That way we don't have to like... Jesus, that is loud. Alright, so secondary. Second. Oh, that doesn't reset it at all, does it? Uh, 
That's steam. Uh, notes. Connect to confirm. Secondary flap. Okay. I don't think I can do this yet, though. Because it looks like... I mean, there's nothing here. Wait a minute. I, I know what this is. Okay, hold on. We need to... There's gotta be... There had to have been a reason for this pit. Like this dooming pit here. So now we need whatever is in that. Forgot about that. That box couldn't have just been a random box. And this pit is not just a random pit. Everything has a purpose. I just keep forgetting what the purpose is, so. Now that we have that, which we have the battery now, we need to replace said battery and then do this stupid thing. So we can get some power in here. I think once I get this, then I'll probably, ugh, uh, stop it here. So, I'd have to go here. Where is it? How is this going to work? I don't know. I guess it's not going to. I should make sure everything's like shut off first, right? All right. So if it doesn't go there, is there something up here to replace it with? Somewhere up here, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. Nope, okay. Has to be replaced down here then. Where, I don't know. I thought it would go right here, because this looks like something needs to happen. there. Yeah. That makes sense. Is there something outside here maybe? That I'm missing? That's not what I wanted. Uh. That was not what I wanted. and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. But we have like a power thing here. Spare battery. That like has nowhere to go. Obviously it has nowhere to go in here. I don't know how it's going to work. It's not, it's not gonna work. Um, okay, it's gotta be what the dogs are, fortunately. So I'm gonna save. Oh, batteries, awesome. 
I think. All right. So I think we'll end it here for now. Um, and then we'll do this puzzle in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this let's play. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more Penumbra, go ahead and subscribe. But until the next session, guys, see ya.